Hi everyone, it's me again and today I am going to be doing a full groom video for you. Um, I'm so excited for you to see the breed that I am doing my full groom on today. Around my parts, I wouldn't say her breed is very common, but I am literally in love with her. She is so lovely and I am so excited for you all to see her. So without further ado, let's get started. So here she is, gorgeous girl Stella. Oh, isn't she unreal? Oh my god, I just love her so much. She is an old English bulldog. Look at that face, Stella. Stella, baby. Look at me. So I'm going to show you how I would do a full groom on the likes of Stella. Her coat is in quite good condition. There's a nice shine off it. Um, but just look at that face. Oh, my, my heart just melts. And look, especially we're going to focus on these wrinkles because... If you're not cleaning them properly or not washing them properly, they can get infected. Mm -hmm. Can't they, pups? Um, but look, look at that face. Aww. Okay, let's get you in the bath. So now you've all met the lovely Stella and first things first, we're gonna put her in the bath and we're gonna rinse her all over, get her soaked all over just to prep her for um, her shampooing. And we're really, really gonna focus on the wrinkles and the creases in her face because sometimes um, with these breeds of dogs who you know tend to have a lot of wrinkles or creases they can get very dirty and um, the dirt can build up inside them and it can actually lead to infection. I did have a dog in here once who had a lot of creases in his face and um, I actually was looking at them and they were really badly infected, they were bleeding. Um, the owner wasn't aware of this but once I told them they were very grateful that I told them and they got them sorted at the vets. So that's why we're going to focus on that today. It's very very important if you have a breed like this or similar to this that you focus on their wrinkles and their creases and make sure they're clean because if you think about it, if we had skin that was you know overlapped all the time you would really really want to make sure you're scrubbing in between it just so that it stays nice and fresh and clean. So after I have Stella soaked all over, what I'll do is I will go in with the Grim Professional Tranquil Shampoo. Um, I'm using the shampoo on Stella today as I find these thinner coated dogs tend to have kind of sensitive skin. And this is a really, really gentle shampoo and it's got um, lavender in it. It smells lovely, but I just find it works really well on these types of dogs. So I'm going to go in. I, As you can see, I've got a pump on it. I put it in my hands and then I scrub it all over. Sometimes I will add some water. Um, to the coat with the shampoo set on it just to help distribute it a wee bit more um, but I'm really really going in and scrubbing Stella with my fingertips just to make sure she's lovely and clean it also really helps if you give a good scrub with um, de-shedding and things like that so just want to make sure she is lovely and squeaky so after I have scrubbed Stella's body what you'll see I'm doing is I'm taking the tiniest amount of shampoo in my hands and rubbing it together so that I can go in with into Stella's wrinkles on her face and give them a really really good scrub. Now as I said before this is a sensitive shampoo so this is fine on her wrinkles and I'm just working with my thumbs and my fingertips just to make sure I really really get in there and actually I don't know if you can notice it in the video but when I was scrubbing the wrinkles in between Stella's face you could actually see the dirt coming out of them which you wouldn't believe how much dirt um, can actually build up inside them but this is really really key for um, Stella's breed is to make sure you're getting into those wrinkles and not avoiding them um, and giving them a really really good cleaning and scrubbing because it will help prevent infection and bacteria and dirt building up so make sure you focus a lot on this area. So once you have her covered in shampoo what you're going to do is what I like to start by doing um, to get the shampoo out of her wrinkles on her face is hold the nozzle right on top of her head and just let it all Run, let the water all run down her face and out through her wrinkles and make sure you're using your hands to um, assist with getting the shampoo out of there because if you were to leave any shampoo or residue in there it could actually really really irritate her and really irritate her skin would make her itch and it just really wouldn't be pleasant for her at all so really really make sure you're definitely getting the shampoo out of those wrinkles because you do not want to leave any behind there or you don't want to leave any anywhere on her body um, actually but just really make sure you get them out of the wrinkles because that can be a tricky spot to clean um, and we're focusing on the wrinkles today so start with the nozzle on her head let it all run down and then you can focus on rinsing the rest of her body then after that 
which is just sort of the same process as you would do any other dog, just let the water rinse off all the shampoo and use your hands to assist with it and then we can move on to our drying. After I have rinsed Stella completely, I go back in with my fingers into her wrinkles and just make sure um, to push out all sort of the water and like sort of wring out her wrinkles. It sounds sore, but I just mean like guide the water out with your thumbs and ensure and again there is no shampoo left in there. I also like to go in with a wee bit of kitchen oil and just help dry up um, inside the wrinkles because it is a tricky place to get dry as well because obviously you're not really using the um, dryer nozzle like around her face, she doesn't like that so you know every level helps when it comes to you know tile drying her face or just helping using something to help you you know soak up the really wet bits if that makes sense. So after I have toil dried her, I have moved Stella onto the table to then begin the drying process. Um, the beauty of these dogs is they dry really, really quickly. Uh, the only thing is, there's not really much of a technique to dry in them as there would be, you know, like a curly coated dog or a double coated dog. I just sort of go in with um, like vigorous hand movements and just sort of get the job done by, you know, continuing to dry her. I do find if you rub the coat um, rubber coat while you're drying her, it does help speed up the process a wee bit, even though there's not really much to speed up to do because they do dry super quick. Um, and then the other thing is, sometimes when drying these dogs, I like to sort of pull their skin back and dry because I find, because sometimes their skin can be all bunched up, you miss you miss bits and um, then when you're feeling her, you go, oh, how did, I, how did I miss that bit? But if you separate the skin and then dry and, you know, continue this all over her body, it should help. But with the likes of her face. Um, I'm not gonna use the high velocity dryer on her face or like the big dryer drying nozzle on her face just because she really doesn't like that, but we can get to that. So once I have her full body dried, I am moving on to her face. Um, now this can be quite complicated because obviously she doesn't like the dryer on her face. So today I will be using my stand dryer and just holding her face in front of it, reassuring her the whole time. And um, I'm just using my thumbs and my fingers to massage her face as the stand dryer is blowing on it. This can be a somewhat enjoyable experience for them because they are getting a wee face massage and um, while the stand dryer is drying them, so it's quite helpful that way if you know you find that massage on their face does relax them, that can sort of distract them from the dryer blowing on their face. But you do want to make sure you're getting those wrinkles really dry um, because with the moisture being inside there, it can chafe and it can hurt them. Um, and you don't want to irritate those wrinkles at all, you just don't want it to happen. So if you just be patient with it, um, I mean like for how quick the body dries, you can be patient with, you know, taking a wee bit more time to get that face really, really good and dry. So it's quite a repetitive process, but you're just going to stand there and massage the face while the air blows on it and keep doing that until um, her face is dry. And you want to make sure your hands are dry before you're checking that her wrinkles are dried out because I've made this mistake before where I have sort of wet hands and I feel the dog and I'm like, hmm, like, face is kind of dry and then you're like, wait, what, my hands? Like, <laughs> I don't know, I, I can't even explain it, but that has happened before. But yes, we just wanna make sure those wrinkles are good and dry before we do anything else. So after Stella and her lovely wrinkles are all dry, what we're gonna do is go in with the rubber scrubber and go over her coat with this. I tend to use it in circular motions or just straight. Um, it just sort of, whatever trickles you fancy, really. But this is just sort of to give her an SPD shed. Um, I mean, there's not a massive pile of hair coming out of her at the minute, but it makes all the difference to, to um, her owners when you do this. So just either straight motion, circular motion, just whatever you fancy. And you'd actually be surprised how much hair can come off a dog like this when they are um, shedding or, you know, but at the minute, as I said before, she isn't really shedding a massive pile but we'll just do this for the video's sake anyway. Now, after you have done your day shed on your dog, um, what I like to do with these specific breeds, I find they can get very dry noses. So I like to go in with a little bit of um, nose and paw balm. You, can, you, you will see Stella is sort of like, what are you doing in my face? Like she's trying to get away from me, but if you just be gentle with her, I just rubbed a little bit on her nose and that helps give moisture. It's sort of like the way humans use lip balm. It just helps um, give moisture to her nose because I find these dogs' noses can get very dry and cracked and it actually looks very sore. Um, now Stella's wasn't too bad, but it just, you know, it's sort of like a preventative method more than anything at this point. 
So although you don't see it on the video, after I finished Stella's Completed Groom, I went in with the Groom Professional um, Baby Fresh Spray and gave her a spritz all over so she went home smelling nice and fresh to her owners. She was such a lovely dog to groom. Um, I hope if you ever have any of her breed in your salon, um, that this video does help you uh, or give you tips on how to groom them. Uh, she had just the best temperament ever and I literally love her but hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully this video was helpful to you and I will see you next time thank you for watching